In this video, we are going to continue working on our 204 game to make the numbers guide around. Before I continue, credits to this user underscore user underscore zero one for adding in some colored numbers. Okay, so now let's start working on the project. So firstly, for the grid, we'll have to uh, take this run without screen refresh block. That way it will uh, immediately run as you can add. That way it will immediately draw a grid. And for the number, we are going to create a function display, which is also going to run without screen refresh. So uh, when it receives display, it will run the display function. And the display by, uh, function will first up, it will delete the clone. And after that, it will do this code, which will basically uh, display all the numbers. And we'll be, create, and we'll be creating some uh, variables as well, which is a clone, uh, which there's a clone ID variable, for example, and then there's the, and then there's a break variable. The clone ID variable will be for the number sprite only, but the break variable will be for all sprites. And so for the display, it will first delete the clone and it will set clone ID to one. And after that, it will do, run the code for create uh, for displaying. And after that, it will set the clone ID back to zero. And then there'll be a code animate. So basically, if clone ID is equal to one and as position is equal to this formula that we used in the, uh, uh, in the previous video, but with the I replaced with the J, and similarly over here, this formula, but with the I replaced with the J, then it'll glide the 0 0.1 seconds to this to this formula, this formula with the I instead of the J. And after that, it'll display. And occasionally there might be issues with the uh, program not displaying, so I created a function. Uh, so I uh, created a function for the user to reload everything. So, uh, so if some of the numbers turn invisible, then they can re-display it. And then I also created two variables, the score and the player high score variable, and set their format to large without. And I changed the backdrop a bit, as you can see. So now there are two pieces of text. And for the spread, I also change that position to over here. So when it receives win, if the score is greater than a player high score, it will set the player high score to the score and similarly over here. And I also, I also created some code to, some code which will basically, so if the user runs out of time and the user has to leave, then they can go ahead and press the R key, they can go ahead and press the R key. And if the answer is yes, then it will bro uh, then it'll broadcast a loose. And now it's for the, for the stage. So first we'll be setting the score to zero. And when the up arrow key is pressed, the press will repeat until break is equal to one, or all those stuff. And we'll be removed. And in the past, there was this function which over which stated set i to zero, but we'll now remove it. So we put a score, and we change score by twice of the item, uh, twice of the item number, uh, twice of the um, corresponding value. So, and also we uh, after when we combine two numbers, we'll be setting the break to one, because after that we do not combine any more numbers. And over here, we'll set break to zero outside of this repeat until loop, and we'll broadcast animate and wait. And oh, but, and similarly, the same code is used. So we remove the code to set i to a certain uh, to the value, and we'll do change score by twice of this item and set break to one. We have come to the end of the video. Before you leave, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.